I was diagnosed with prostate cancer in about uh, late January, early February of 2009. And in May of 2009, I had a radical uh, prostatectomy to, um, to treat the problem. Uh, and I had that at St Vincent's Hospital in Sydney. I think one of the things that struck me from uh, really the first PSA results and, and um, uh, actually finding out that I had cancer was that uh, people involved in the medical fraternity were really keen to leave the key decision making to me. They would answer any questions that I have, but there was no sort of guidance as to what sort of route that I should take. And, and ultimately, that was something that my family and I uh, discussed. Um, as I said, almost from the time that I had it, my view was that I'd be having an operation to try and get rid of it. There are a number of downsides to the operation pointed out to me. They could be things like incontinence, uh, sexual function, um, and really, in weighing all of those things up, I decided that the, the risk there was worth taking it because ultimately, if the cancer spread uh, over time, then those things were going to affect me anyway. And so, uh, again, as I said, taking a soldier's approach, I decided that uh, it was worth the risks to guarantee that I had uh, a long life. And uh, when you're in a good family situation and, and you know that you've got all the support, then some of those risks really sort of fade into the background. Post-operatively, a lot of people who are either suffering or think they might have prostate cancer want to know, you know, did I suffer any of the side effects? And uh, the reality of it is no, I, I, I didn't. Um, you know, I was incontinent for a very few weeks. Um, that improved over time um, and I lead a full and active life now uh, and it's as though it never happened to me. My advice to people who find themselves in the position that I was in uh, just over 12 months ago now is to actually and take charge of your life, uh, understand what it's about, uh, don't expect other people to make decisions for you, and don't let other people's advice dissuade you from taking positive action. Uh, I, I think one of the most uh, dangerous terms that I hear uh, far too frequently from the medical fraternity is that more men die with prostate cancer than die of it. Well, I think the numbers are now over 3,000 annually who die of it, and uh, it's being detected in much younger uh, age groups, younger demographics. Uh, and so my advice to you is, is take positive action. Uh, consider what it's about. Consider the length of life that you still have in front of you and understand that if you don't treat it, then your quality of life in latter years is going to be affected anyway.